Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17 666. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 1809, expecting to release sometime in October 2018. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. On Windows 10 build 17 666 on the start menu, now when you have a tile folder, you now have the ability to add any name you want. In the same way that you can do with groups. On Search and Cortana, you will now notice that we have a wider interface allowing you to access more content and you will even see your more recent activities right here at the bottom but in my installation is currently not working also on build 17666 search previews are expanding to documents and applications previously it was only available for web searches for example now if i look for a document You can see a preview of that file with some information such as location, modified date, and author. And at the bottom of the preview, you will find some actions that you can take on that file, such as an option to open that file, open the folder location, and copy the full path to the clipboard. If you're looking for an app, you're also going to get a preview with additional options that you will commonly find on the context menu and even the uh, recent files that you open with that specific application. Starting with this preview, using the task view with the Alt Tab keyboard shortcut, will now show Microsoft Edge tabs in addition to apps. Previously, task view only showed applications. You can always go back to the previous experience, changing the multitasking settings. On Windows 10, build 17666, Set is getting a number of improvements, including acrylic material, part of Fluent Design, which adds transparency and blur to the title bar. As you can see right here. Also, a group of tabs now will open in the background without using system resources to speed up the process to restore tabs. Also, you can now configure sets to open apps and websites by default in a new tab or window. You do that on the settings tab. In addition, if you're using a Microsoft Edge tab making sound, you can now mute it just like you can do on the web browser by clicking the audio button. Starting with build 17666, File Explorer now includes a dark theme that you can now enable through the settings app. But as you can see, it is still a work in progress. As there are parts, they are now getting the dark color and even the title bar didn't change automatically. So let me see if I can restart File Explorer to see if that changes. As you can see, now we get a more complete experience, but still there are some elements that did not change to the darker theme. For Windows 10 version 1809, Microsoft is also planning to introduce a new clipboard experience that uses the cloud to sync your clipboard history to copy and paste content across devices. And starting with build 17666, we're getting a preview of this new experience. Just like before, you can copy and paste, but now you can use the Windows V keyboard shortcut to open the new clipboard experience. Using this new experience, you can also paste anything listed in the history, and you can even pin items for those pieces of content you paste all the time. And this new clipboard experience is also very customizable using the new page on the settings app.
With this option, you can turn on and off history, but even though if you turn this off, you will still be able to use the clipboard, just like you used to do in the past. Using this option, you, you can configure how your clipboard history will sync to the cloud and across devices. Also, when you turn this on, you will need to decide between two different options. You can allow Windows 10 to automatically sync your clipboard across devices, or you can allow sync, but only when you specify the items that you want to sync to the cloud. At the bottom of the page, you even get a clear button that will delete all your clipboard history on your device and on the Microsoft servers. But if you have any pin items, those items will not be deleted. And that's pretty much how the preview for Clipboard works on Windows 10 build 17.666. Now that we're in the settings app, we're just going to continue seeing other changes that you will find on this release. On Cortana, the uh, permissions and history page has been updated and now it includes a new personalized section that lists the account that is currently being used with the Cortana experience and when clicking the account it will open Cortana with the option to sign in or sign out with a different account. Besides the changes on this page, the settings app only includes a new updated multitasking page with new settings for sets as I showed you earlier. Windows 10 is also gaining a new application called Your Phone. which is a new experience to allow you to connect your phone to your PC so you can access to your text messages, photos, and notifications without even you having to reach for your phone. However, in this flight, you can only link your phone to your PC and send links to pick up where you left off. But over the time, we will see more features. Microsoft recently demo this app in more details during its build 2018 conference. So I will make sure to include a link for that video on the description below. After many years, Notepad is getting an update, but nothing drastic. Only support for Unix Linux line endings and Macintosh line endings. So text files created on Unix, Linux, and Mac OS will look like this instead of this. Also, if you need to research a word on Notepad, you can now select the text, go to Edit, and click the new Search with Bing button. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 build 17.666. Remember that we're still in the early days and there is still a lot of work to be done. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.